So when you're talking about Dr. York, he reiterated the fact that, you know, the Elohim from the eighth planet risk, which has one moon called Shesky. So the original moon that we had in our solar system was Shesky, right? So when you're talking about the extraction of plutonium bombs that broke off the planet, so when you're talking about Satan, the god of uh, the prince of air, so he basically separated the intergalactic waters from the third dimension. So that ba basically created an atmosphere. So now when you breathe in oxygen, oxygen that oxidizes the hemo, uh, hemoglobin cellular structure to where it starts the aging process. So it means that you are in the process of dying, right? So that's why you age so quickly because intelligent life actually lives inside the planet, not on the surface. So when you understand the dynamics and the esoteric symbolism behind pluto pluto means what hades hades is inside the planet which is the basically uh uh kind of part of of the inception story of hollow earth because the hydrogen and, uh, and the oxygen levels inside hollow earth is a lot more um purified to where human life and and uh intrinsic metals and plants and animals and pr uh, protoplasts they have a uh a, a higher uh they have an immortality rate that's way beyond the confines of the mankind of way beyond the confines of uh, of the limitations of the three dimensional world. Right. So. And as I was talking about, you had a twenty four thousand year. Uh, right here it talks about the twenty four thousand year equinox. Right. And we just came out of that and we in the last solar cycle. So this is the last reincarnation phase. So the moon that you see in our system in our in our solar system it's actually a fake moon it's an artificial uh colonizing celestial entity it's a mega structure which is why when you read this article right here it specifies that the moon was wobbling and was reported by nasa you see what i'm saying and see now you can see this is basically in alignment with agenda 2030 see it says something like yeah moon orbit pre uh, predicted predicted and has early as 2030s moon wobbling, yeah, which will impact flood patterns all across the world. So when you're talking about these flood patterns, right? We talking about uh, judgment. When you break down the etymological roots of the word judgment, it means to be judged on your mentality. Was the mentality under the lunar doctrine? Slavery, servitude, genocide, right? So the planet is gonna be judged by when the when the divine feminine principles which is the sun see the misconception about the moon and the sun is that people think the sun represents masculine energy no it's the other way around the woman represents the sun she's the divine feminine principles right so when you're talking about the divine feminine returning order the divine feminine like put it like this Egypt, Egypt and these ancient civilizations was built under a matriarchal system under the under the solar cycle. So when we lost our power, we lost it under the lunar cycle, right? Because when you understand um, the history of the Moors, when we fell in 1492, we fell on the first blood moon, right? So that is still in the divine feminine energy from the sun. You see what I'm saying? So now uh, what I'm going to show you which coincides with the fact because I, you know, women are actually women actually predate men. So that's why I was saying women are actually the representation of um of the solar system, of the uh divine feminine, of the of everything reversing the polarities, you know, by the solar transmission of the sun that's being projected to the planet. Because those activations is going to activate that X gene. You see what I'm saying? Because the X is what represents the woman. What does the X, X gene represent? Where did um, Jack Kirby and, and all these people who wrote these comic books, where did they get the symbology of the X-Men come from, right? It represents the X mitochondrial Eve gene that's gonna basically crystallize the carbonated body to where it can be acclimated to the solar transmission to where you can reap the benefits of metaphysical abilities like uh, psychometry, clairvoyance, levitation, all these metaphysical powers is what draws you to the source, which is the sun, the divine feminine principles that's coming back to the planet to restore order based upon judgment and the fall of the beast in the lunar cycle, right? So now, 
uh, I'm going to show you a clip of the movie and it's going to show you uh, the moon and things of that nature. Oh, come on. All right, here we go. See, now you got to ask yourself, why is the moon pulling on the energy of everything on the planet? That's because when you understand the dynamics of the Food and Drug Administration and everything in the system that connects you to the electromagnetic grid node of the planet, everything connects you to the lunar frequency. That's why you have all these um, these nanotechnologies and, the, and these elements inside your body that draws you to the energy of the moon because the moon is what controls everything on the planet. It controls humans. So it's actually, it's basically a satellite. It's a satellite that, that basically usurps the energy of humans on the planet and controls them and acclimates them to a to an octave frequency that keeps them... Uh, knocked off their spiritual equilibrium, right? Come on. July 20th, 1969. Soon you were taught that Apollo 11 lost contact with the world for two minutes. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> you found something on that day. <laughs> but they kept so, in. I need y'all to understand something. When y'all watch these movies, it's actually plot twisted. The people that, you know, when you see super, superheroes and people trying to save the planet, they're actually trying to fight to save the three-dimensional world, which is why you see these people, they trying to fight to keep the lunar doctrine. You know, they trying to save everything because they're going to fall out of power. But like I said, the solar energy that's being projected to the planet is going to knock off the frequency of the sun. That's judgment because the original principles is here to restore order. So when you see people fighting against nature, going against nature, you know what I'm saying? They're basically going against the judgment of God in the universe, right? So which coincides with prophecy. So that's why I, I wanted to reiterate that. So I'm going to just keep on going with the video. For 50 years. Too late to stop Breaking news. The governor has just ordered the mass evacuation of the entire West Coast. Moving to higher ground is the only So you're seeing destruction, desolation, calamities. This is judgment. You know what I'm saying? Based upon the, gen uh, the mentality of what you did to the planet. You know what I'm saying? You fucked up the ecosystem. You fucked up the ecology of the planet. So you're throwing off the swimming pattern patterns of animals and, and you're throwing off you know, the, the, the whole spiritual equilibrium of the planet is thrown off balance. And this is what you get. You get the result of the end of your fall, right? So like I said, all this is basically rooted in the fact that this is a uh, divine retribution. This is bound to happen. It's written in the stars. It's written in the stone tablets. It's written all throughout these, you know, these ancient, you know, books and these mega structures. <laughs> Stay awake, my brothers and sisters. Stay awake. Has suffered five extinctions. It's going to be the sixth. Are we dead? No, we are just inside the moon. That might be the greatest sentence anyone's ever said. Like I told you, man.
The CIA has an office in Hollywood and Hollywood has an office in the CIA. They got to put the truth in these movies because that's how they balance out their karma. They got to tell you the truth. You see what I'm saying? The moon is an artificial construct that keeps people acclimated. It's a satellite that controls humanity. Now, once you've seen all the desolation and everything on the planet, I want to show you this because, you know, this the this is the uh, the future map of America of the United States of America. So when you see in all these calamities that's going to happen on the planet, based upon the judgment being judged for the mentality of servitude and genocide on the planet, killing ant plants and animals and things of that nature, this is what's going to happen. You see the flooding of all the coastal lines on the planet. You you got Florida underwater, New York, you know what I'm saying, New Jersey, Philly. You know, then you go down to Louisiana. Then you got the whole motherfucking West Coast damn near submerged underneath the water. So when they put out these movies, Escape from New York, Escape from L.A., you know what I'm saying? Did Hollywood know something? Did the CIA know something? Where they get them scripts from? You see what I'm saying? Because like I said, these people are not that intelligent for them to be, you know, uh, you know, having some type of organic you know, knowledge, they reading this shit from the, all these, you know, these theological uh, ancient books that, that we had, you know what I'm saying? Now, you know what I'm saying? The British Museum and the Vatican, they got all of, all of our esoteric knowledge and they write movie scripts and and, and creating uh, superhero stories and shit all, all after, you know, the things that we was, you know, we controlled. We controlled all those, you know, those ancient, you know, mega structures and and those ancient books and things of that nature because that was based on the prophecy so everything that you see as far as like western uh occultism and western theology and philosophy and things of that nature they taking shit from the books that we wrote in stone that we got from the anunnaki who gave us that you know that seven 720 degrees of esoteric knowledge so like i said I see, you know, a lot of people, you talking about, you know, you want to live your life, you want to move new places, you want to move to Florida, you want to move to LA. I get that. You know what I'm saying? You want to live your motherfucking life, but you're not living in reality. You know what I'm saying? You being idealistic about the situation, not understanding that that is going to be on your judgment. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not paying attention to the signs. They putting the signs in the movies. All the real shit is inside the movies. You